Hey, welcome. My name is Max and in this video I will show you which settings I'm using in Baker. Some people ask me in the comments of my videos which settings I'm using for controlling my character in Vigor. Some of you might remember that the video I made six months ago where I stated that, my, that I'm using Freakia's controller settings. Overall, I was quite happy with these settings, but um, yeah, I'm not a sweat, not running and jumping through the Outlands and doing 360s, and it did not really uh, play well with my playstyle. So I searched for different settings and found really good settings I'm still using from a streamer called HackD Gaming. And uh, yeah, that's the settings I will show you. So the controller settings are basically, there's no vibration, no aim in, invert. And um, for aiming, I uh, hold the button, sprint button is toggle, and sensitivity in X and Y of 100, so the full settings. Third person aim Y is 40, third person aim X is 30, first person aim Y 30 and first person aim X is 20. And under advanced controls, aim assist is off. Inner zone in the dead zone is uh, fully to the left 10%, outer dead zone is 75%. No move exponential, it's C1. No ramp up, in, well, not in X, not in Y. And no acceleration. So. That's, I think, uh, one of the big changes I'm, I had at the time I uh, moved from Freakia's settings. And inner dead zone, outer dead zone is also totally to the left. And aim exp exponent is 220 and zoom exponent is 1. And with these settings, I really feel very well. So it's um, quite nice uh, going into encounters with them. But um, yeah, depending on which settings you have currently or had before, it's quite a change. Okay, good. So I want to also give you some practical advice. So when you want to use this setting, so as said, there's no acceleration and no ramp up. So it's basically here when you go left and right, the same speed all the time. And I think this is uh, one of the things that are great to build up muscle memory and to really play well in the game. Also, what you will see here is um, you go into the third person view it immediately also go so uh, goes uh, a little bit slower so uh, when you go from one target to another it will take quite some time if there are long distances what i do basically in the encounters and what i try is i only aim once i have the dot so you see here the red dot in the middle of the screen when i have it nearby the target. So go there, point and press. If you shoot, want to shoot another enemy, go out, go to the target, go in and shoot. Same here. So you need always to switch. And uh, sure, if the, if the other outlander have not seen you, you can also move within the game. But as you see, it's a long time to move from left to right. Uh, and if you do that without them, without aiming, then you will be faster. So go in there, aim in, shoot. Going out, aim in, shoot. Shoot. So this is, I think, one of the things I had to learn with the new settings. With Freakia settings, uh, that was that high that you can immediately move from left to right very fast, even if you aimed. But this is not the case with these settings. The good thing about uh, this low sensitivity in aiming is that it can be very accurate. So the move itself will not be that fast and you can really ad adjust accordingly when someone is running or when you're not pointing out. So you can, with some base clicks, you can immediately adjust your aiming. Yeah, that's basically the tips I have. Um, it will take some time. So if you switch to these settings and you had a, 
acceleration and ramp up, it will feel in first very uncomfortable. So you really need to play several hours to get used to these settings. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you to decide. Would be nice if you comment if you have tried the setting, what you think about them. And uh, yeah, if you use them, take some time, get used to it, and uh, hopefully you will see some good results with it. So with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.